Welcome back to Phantom Hourglass. We just got the cannon, and it's time for us to head off, and we just have a cannon, so I guess we can take on the ghost ship. We don't need a prep or anything, so we just gotta find it. Yeah, just shoot the ghost. That'll fix it. You know how to use that thing, boy? Linebeck, you're drunk. You're not getting anywhere near this cannon. No, sir. <laughs> how do you think the cannon's been working? I've been tapping Linebeck. Okay, but it was rusty at first, and how do you think it got fixed? Linebeck, did you get your grease all over the cannon? <laughs> I had to oil it up somehow. That's disgusting. I hate that you sit in the back. <laughs> get over here, Beetle. He <laughs> goes to the back, and you just see fire coming out of the stout back <laughs> <laughs> Those rocks look very distinct from the others. That's because you can blow them up. I bet if you tap them with the front of the ship, it would make a hollow ringing sound. <laughs> <laughs> the cannon is a lot of fun. It's really easy to use. It will sort of home in on enemies for the most part, as long as they're relatively close. If they're too far, the cannonball will fall short. Luckily, there is no ammo. It's infinite. A bird. <laughs> well, there it is. That was a short game. It's got a skull for a nose. That's it. Damn the torpedoes. Full speed ahead. In fact, don't damn the torpedoes. Shoot the torpedoes. Shoot every torpedo. Don't damn them. <laughs> Fuck them. That's it. <laughs> Fuck the torpedoes. Pump them into the briny deep. You know, I don't think running through it might be the best idea because you stinky little ship. <laughs> and also, Pizza Joe is just hanging out on the front. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's surfing the ship. That's a bad place to be. He's the first thing that's going to collide with. I am the king of the world! I do love the ghost ship's theme, though. It's as repetitive as everything else in the music, but it's got this cool deep chant going. Gotta go all the way to the northwest. Since there's no cyclone up here, just a bunch of fog. I'm afraid that I can't hear anything but a Chozo ruin. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> this is not a good crossover. For a second there, I thought you were gonna say I can't hear anything but fog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got weather synesthesia. It's a rare condition. <laughs> In which my senses get messed up with the weather. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Rain tastes like bluebies. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh. oh. Dude. Okay, that, that was a cheap shot, Phantom Hourglass. Line back your drunk. There it is. That might be, but I'm also full of mistakes. That's right. Mistakes driving us directly into. I don't know. Exploding barrels. Oh gosh. This'll work. Asleep at the wheel. There's no wheel up here. I'm guiding it with my feet. <laughs> I take it back. You know, maybe ramming is not a good idea. <laughs> Asleep on your feet there, pizza chip? You might as well just draw an entire straight line all the way up the screen. No sense it's stopping. Like, the ghost ship doesn't turn or anything. It's counting on you doing the same. Oh no, it's suddenly faster. <laughs> what the? What? Aliens? <laughs> yes, aliens. Phantom Hourglass has suddenly gone on Metal Slug. <laughs> the final act is aliens for some reason. I know, the fog is... is insane. All I can hear is... It's such a foggy song. And in classic Zelda logic, because we got lost, we ended up a mile back. Skull Kid's just hanging out in the fog like, you dumb motherfuckers. 
That's what happens when you don't turn. Oh, he's just hanging there until he waits to get confirmed for Smash Ultimate. Oh, that's the most heartbreaking thing since Greyfriars Bobby. I believe in him. I think he's got a good shot, honestly. Ooh, Golden Frog. I'm gonna kick his ass. Let's <laughs> shoot it! Oh! Biscuits! You shot me good, kid! <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, but why? Wow, that was ace marksmanship! Also, why? I'm dying! Are you a sociopath? Why are you a sociopath? You're killing me! Yes, I don't know. <laughs> what are you- what are you doing just <laughs> shooting off like you're the child of Blackbeard and Yosemite Sam? <laughs> What do you mean you want me to mark your map, what, with my blood? You know, time was, you would drop some delicious fish food in the water, and everything would be fine. Well, I don't know, Linebeck. He is just now upset about it. <laughs> I take all my orders from this glittery little bastard up here! The sun? This... do you not see the... the... the fair... I can't see past three centimeters, past my own nose. <laughs> Unless it's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a bottle of hooch, if you know what I mean. Ha ha ha! Speaking <laughs> of which, they got a bar here? Yeah, okay. I <laughs> got so... Fucking carve a stone about it, then. <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone to publicly know how upset I am that I failed. That's what we had before Twitter. <laughs> we just carved it on the stone. <laughs> Ow, my eye. Hashtag fog. Hashtag frustrating. <laughs> they have to get a second rock because they ran out of room, and so the other rock just says hashtag frustrating. Oh, it was the worst when they upped the character limit on rocks. <laughs> That's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, we actually saw that while we were coming in. It's just, hmm. there are actually several islands that aren't on the map, but when you go near them, Celia will notice them, and then she will put them on the map for you. But you have to get close first. Ho oh, ho, land ho. You can't see them from very far away. I don't know why the game is kind of coy about them, because you'll come across them, no problem. I really liked how somehow you managed to, to make your map marking look like the most vague, casual thing in the world. <laughs> just like, here-ish. That's just my inability to draw well on the touchscreen. What, what would you have attempted to draw? I don't, it was supposed to be an X, but... <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was like, I'm gonna, as an island, I'm gonna draw a turkey, so that way I know. <laughs> Damn, my hand is too big. Oh, no! <laughs> this lady said, an earlier lady was talking about Romanos, who lives in the house. This is his mom and the wife of the Wayfarer who left all the stones around. She must be quite depressed, because sh all she does is walk around this little patch of weeds. Hmm. Aww. I mean, if my hair was like that, I'd be pretty depressed, too. I'd love to have a widow's walk, actually. He's peeped at his dad for disappearing, huh? Why don't we go talk some sense into that youngster? Get a job. <laughs> I gotta destroy everything first. Work out your frustrations so that you're not too angry with the young whippersnapper. Uh-oh. You pervert. <laughs> But I'm gonna keep writing. <laughs> Can you express it in perhaps a saucy doodle? <laughs> Don't look at that mailman. 
For some reason, she responded to your turkey with a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of them can draw, for God's sake. So if we ever get lost, we can go back to Astrid, and she'll tell us where to go. As is the job of fortune tellers in these games. Got through it and never came back. I mean, is it really the ghost ship if everybody can see it? Isn't it just the ship now? I'd like to know what kind of unfinished business a ship could have that would cause it to become a ghost. Maybe it ran aground when it wanted to sink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It'll never go to ship Valhalla now. Yes, the papaya that you've got on your face. <laughs> sure you're not talking about his entire head? That's his, that's his head, man. <laughs> I will go my own way. That's really insensitive. Yeah, it's insensitive, but it's also true, so... It's equally juicy. <laughs> a papaya on a squash. <laughs> That's right. Conform. Conform! Eat cheese. Remember, kids, never try. So being a so being a bum living with your mum, that's how you put food on the table there? That's dumb. That is Burma Shave. Well, I don't think streaming's been invented yet on the sound. Ah, good point, good point. <laughs> you calling me out, Yoshi. I'm calling out wow. all of Twitch! <laughs> <laughs> and you too. <laughs> Who the fuck am I kidding? I did it too. So. <laughs> yeah. How acrimonious. You're actively trying to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I know that if I even did the Twitch thing, it wouldn't make enough to what I need to make ends meet, so... It's okay. In 2018, nobody makes money, so it's fine. Just do what you feel. Go into your dad's secret escape cave. Whoa, oh, lady. I'm armed. <laughs> well, if my son hates you. <laughs> well, if he hates you too, I guess. Indoor water looks really weird. It's just a bunch of lines. Like, they're just scan lines. This is like a Yoshi's Woolly World kind of thing. The water is corduroy. Yeah. It's so tacky. It's a... it's a buff fishy man. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh! Uh, Matrixy fishy man. <laughs> These guys have the best names, they're called Geozards. Geozards. <laughs> to fight them, we gotta stun them, and since I got a shield, I have to hit them in the back with a boomerang. That'll stun them, but then I also have to go behind them to hit them, because if I attack them from the front, even though they're stunned, it still blocks it. You just swing right at their shield like a complete pylon. You might have noticed that and also the tree outside of Romanos' house. There's a weird pattern on the ground. That's a place where we can dig later. Hmm, nope. Gotta go around. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Pizza Joe, you thought it that hard and long and that's what you did? Uh, I gotta do something with it. What if I strike it? It's so funny. They're so annoyed at their dad, but they never thought to go into the cave that would probably have a hint to where he went. Well, they're mad about him. I don't think they really want to know about him either. 
Oh ho ho, it is brilliant. I've buried it. This is as depressing as I thought it would be. Hey, we got a shovel. Oh, no kidding? You didn't see me reading the book? <laughs> I can't read. I don't read, I count on you to tell me. Unfortunately, you don't talk. Is she? F oh, she's floating over the book, just like, uh, ahem. Uh, I can't read books, but I can chart maps, that's easier. I can just scribble on a map. That's kind of what I do. I will vaguely scribble. I mean, she tried to read that bomb just now, and it didn't work. Oh, what a suspicious place. Yeah, usually those places will just have big rubies. But that's always a good thing. I didn't like the way that it was looking at me. It was suspicious. One island. That's it. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I will see everything. Also, the little dot that you drew there made Pizza Joe look like he had an eye patch, and it was a really good look. <laughs> well, Pizza Joe is technically a pirate. Well, technically. I haven't seen him steal anything. He just stole a shovel and he grave robbed a man for his money and... Hey, you're right. He is a pirate. He's got a crew that doesn't do anything and he does the rest for. I completely missed the spot on the ground. <laughs> I will get it later. You didn't find it that suspicious, huh? And that's just a target on his forehead. I can relate. Alright, now I gotta connect them, find out where they cross. Yeah. It's not super accurate, though, is the problem. <laughs> Maybe it's just my hands. But it's somewhere around here. It's really not that accurate. It's a time-honored Zelda tradition to just dig everywhere anyway. Yeah. Once you got the shovel, you probably could just find this accidentally, but it's right underneath the palm. <laughs> to my son, I know you're not reading this. I don't love you. I know you hate me, but that's okay. <laughs> that makes it easier. <laughs> Romanos, I want to apologize in a way you will never find out. <laughs> <laughs> if I could continue to posthumously loathe you, I would appreciate that so much. Wow. Gabagoo. <laughs> Wubba dubba dubba? In closing, one more thing. Cheese is disgusting. Stop. <laughs> Stop eating cheese. Too much cheese will make you chubby. In closing, Gabagoo. Also, here's a picture of a rubber duck. I love rubber duck. So, is that our first treasure map? I believe it is. I want to uh, say yes. It's one, no, it's one of our first. I think we got one on the Cannon Island. I think you got another because you sailed over it and picked it up and you made a big deal about how there's no hook. Oh, yeah. So that's our second one. Yeah. I think we have to go through this next temple before we can get the salvage arm, though. But that's the path through the fog. I don't know why we've got to do a corkscrew. <laughs> Because otherwise, Skull Kid messes you up. He's just like, what do you think this is, huh? You think this is not the Lost Woods? Screw you, fella. Back to start. You just need to impress the ocean first with a donut before you can continue. <laughs> Learn to drift, Lineback. <laughs> I've had a lot of rum, so I might vomit. Have you ever seen Initial D, but with boats? <laughs> So if you look in the top screen, you can see a, uh, well, not anymore. You can see a dungeon. Oh, there it is. You can see a dungeon at the very <laughs> northern part of the island. That's actually a later dungeon. We have to come back here. And every time you come back here, you have to dig up the hole again.
and I'm making a little note that once I get the sun key, that's what it's gonna unlock, but that's much later in the game. Sun key. Yep. Like, it's a spoiler to say that's what it is. So there's a sun key, huh? Well, then we can infer that there's probably a moon key, which means that there's probably a dungeon that has to do with duality. No, hang on, I'm going right down a rabbit hole here. <laughs> hey, Romanos, guess what? Your dad was a piece of shit, just like you thought. Yeah, you were right, but he hates you. But he said sorry. In quotes. And he made sure you would never find out, so I don't know what it's worth. <laughs> So, way to go, Pizza Joe. You have just gotten Romanos killed. I'm gonna rob you. Classic Pizza Joe. Now it's good. I'll dig it up with my boomerang. There you go. You're gonna find his corpse Dark Souls style. Lady, do you care? <laughs> we won't tell you about your dead husband. Goodbye. I mean, your son is probably gonna leave you too. Wouldn't it be great if the guy was dead, so that path is wrong, and we still end up at the start again? <laughs> <laughs> it's just wrong. It's like, I got through it! No, you didn't, you liar. I kind of like that, though, actually. Like, you know, you, you find a note saying, okay, all right, it's either one of these two things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a try. And if not... I don't know. I'll be dead, so it doesn't matter. Looks like the backside of an octopus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. You're, you're telling me. Our charts are shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Ocean King. <laughs> Now why not set a course there? I, 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 who, who's driving, navigating the fucking boat? Kill a jellyfish. Why not set a course there? Why not mind your goddamn business? <laughs> did, did I say we were gonna... Do you want to go back in the jar? <laughs> Do you want to wait until I get knocked out and then come out and heal me up with seven hearts? No? Then shut up. This is a suggestion, God. Yeah. I know, you know what you can do with your, with your suggestions? Give them to yourself. Alright. <laughs> this has been a reading of my dramatic fanfic. <laughs> Link is tired of fairies. Open it from all the way over there. That's a good boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they clearly post the admission price. Yep, when you get 10 of each of the gems, you can come back here, upgrade your fairy. Then when you get 20, you can come back and fully upgrade it. So there are 60 gems total, 20 of each. And, of course, rings do nothing less worn. I mean, fairies do nothing unless shoved into your mouth, or <laughs> however these work. Well, we need all three before we can actually use any of them. Oh, that's cool. Hello. I am a puddle. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm the magic puddle. Are you amazed yet? Yes! Actually, I've never seen a talking toilet before. Do you mind if I just, uh... Be, no? It's a, it's a living. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Or two. <laughs> I got this much! P Pizza Joe can't count. Alright, coming back later. With the number of hits to the head I've taken from rolling into walls, it's amazing I can do anything. So, how about a little credit? You still can't count. <laughs> ah, but I never could. Uh-huh. <laughs> now watch as I crash my boat into this... 
So this is a traveler ship. Each quadrant has at least one. This guy's just got a bunch of mini blends on his ship. We need to kill him and save him. Oh. <laughs> and also kill him and save him. I'll save you, sir. I'll put you out of your misery. Sir? Sir? Oh, heaven. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. You know, the casual music isn't really helping. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank God you came when you did. Their horrible song was stuck in my head. <laughs> it appears that at one point they tore his heart out and threw it on the ground. <laughs> Oh, that is a handsome man. Wow. Beard and fork. Strikingly good looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, nice lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a, a pot on my head. Hey, I have a question. Why do you, why do you, why do you look like that? Blame my parents. I'm just how the goddess made me. Oh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> we'll blame her. <laughs> what island does she live on? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a hero. Don't laugh. It's a hard job. You just find money in the ground constantly. It's a lot of shovel work. But also your girlfriend is a statue. Well... It swings and roundabouts. Hey, what can you do? We'll be coming back to Nyave later in the game. Nyave! This isn't the last time he's gonna get attacked. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'm not good at this. Alright. Off we go. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Hard turn to dessert wine. Mmm. I do love a nice port. You should probably keep the camera pointed in the direction you're going. Because there will be more exploding barrels. Always. And aliens. Okay. You can actually tell if you're sort of going in the right direction because the chanting comes in. Ah. Uh -huh. And you haven't booted out yet. It's much funnier at twice speed. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? It sounds like those Goblins PC games. That's nostalgic. Kill everything, even if it doesn't attack you. Kill Beetle, if he comes close to you. Even if you don't know what's there, just kill him. It's the rule of the seas. There we go. You made it! Be careful, the Isle of Gust has a couple pirate ships patrolling it. Well... It's okay, once they know that we're part of the pirate credo, they'll be like, ah, oh, <laughs> false alarm. Ah, <laughs> uh, yar, you be true brethren of the seas. Because pirate crews never fight each other. <laughs> So one funny thing, the giant cyclone we couldn't pass, but there will sometimes be tiny cyclones around some islands, and you can destroy those, and you'll get a rupee for it, just spits out of the water. Beat up a cyclone, take its lunch money. So next time, we just go straight to the Isle of Gust, and the temple on it. Ooh. I think you have to keep that line on the map at all times, because it's not like the, the fog goes away when you cross it the first time. I don't think it's until halfway through the game that the fog clears. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember that. But by that point, you are able to cross the main median. The cyclone will go away. You'll be fine. Nah. Sue's ready for some toots. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> toot toot!